guys, so I have some really exciting news. Ted Cruz is running for president! Yay! I'm sure everyone is just as excited about this as I am. If you're not sure who Ted Cruz is, he is a Republican, or very Republican senator from, you guessed it, Texas. But he's actually not from Texas, you guys. He was born in Canada. And everyone who had a problem with Obama, all those Republicans who were like, I demand to see your birth certificate because they all just knew he was born in Kenya. They have no problem supporting Ted Cruz because they either have very short-term memory or somehow it doesn't apply to Democrats the same way it applies to Republicans. So here's Ted Cruz tweeting that he's running for president and wants to earn your support. So the first thing that he says in the video that he tweeted is this. It's a time for truth. A time for truth. And of course, he makes sure to include all the important imagery in this video. Like this cornfield, and this here church, and obviously this tractor. The important shit. It's a time for truth. Something that he doesn't actually value that much, which is shocking coming from any politician. But in his case, he has said so many things that are just flat out lies and extremely bigoted. I can't help myself, I gotta point it out. Ted Cruz says the Democrats told the Catholic Church They'll use federal powers to shut down church charities and hospitals if the church doesn't change its beliefs. Yup, that's something that the Democrats totally said, or it's just a flat out lie. A strong bipartisan majority in the House of Representatives voted to defund Obamacare. Two Democratic votes out of 190, only two. That doesn't really mean bipartisan. The jurisdictions with the strictest gun control laws, almost without exception, have the highest crime rates and the highest murder rates. Yeah, no they don't. Obama, instead of nominating a health professional, he nominated someone who was an anti-gun activist for Surgeon General. Because apparently an MD from Yale doesn't really qualify as being a health professional. In the 2014 elections, the American people overwhelmingly said, we don't want Obamacare and we don't want amnesty. The exit polls disagree with you. 92 million Americans aren't working. Yeah, if you include high schoolers and senior citizens. Many of the alarmists on global warming, they've got a problem because the science doesn't back them up. In particular, satellite data demonstrate for the last 17 years there's been zero warming. Again, flat out lie. Oh, and it is so scary that he has these views on global warming and is still somehow the chairman of the subcommittee on space, science, and competitiveness. Holy shit, that's scary. And all his lies aside, he just says a lot of really dumb shit. Net neutrality is Obamacare for the internet. The internet should not operate at the speed of government. Dude, do you even know what net neutrality means? Because it has nothing to do with the Affordable Care Act at all. How anyone could relate the regulation of internet speeds across different websites to universal healthcare just blows my mind. Yeah, universal healthcare, that horrible, horrible thing that your mom used, you know, that evil social system that was available to you whenever you were born. Because that must have sucked. And one time he also told a group of conservative pastors at the Family Research Council that the Senate Democrats are going to be voting on constitutional amendments to repeal the First Amendment. Wow, you think that that was something that I would have heard of somewhere, you know, that Democrats are trying to repeal the First Amendment. It should have been plastered all over the news, except for that it's total bullshit. And you can only guess his stance on immigration, since his mother's from Ireland, his father is from Cuba, he's from Canada, so clearly he's against immigration reform. Makes perfect sense. And on the topic of abortion and same-sex marriage, he said, instead of a federal government that works to undermine our values, imagine a federal government that works to defend the sanctity of human life and uphold the sacrament of marriage. Wow, another Republican who's against gay rights and women's rights and loves guns, you know, values the sanctity of life, but I'm sure he has absolutely no problem with capital punishment because that's not hypocritical at all. You know, I spent a lot of time today reading different blog posts and people's opinions on Ted Cruz and who they expect to be in the Republican race, and a lot of people said really mature things like, you know what, I don't like that Ted Cruz is running because I wish that Republicans had an actual viable candidate to make things fair. But I'm sorry, I just can't do that. And here's why. 78, 80, 80, 83. Those are the ages of the four Supreme Court justices. The next president most likely is going to be in charge of replacing all four Supreme Court justices. And whenever it comes to social issues, unless you want to run into a complete wall and have a standstill on progress, we cannot have a Republican as the next president. We just cannot. To me, that idea is just terrifying and would be devastating to any progress we've made so far. I mean, look at the mess we had with Hobby Lobby and look at all the progress that is still yet to be made 
for marriage equality. A Republican president would be terrible. So whenever there's people like Ted Cruz, yay! Not only is it screwing with Republicans' chances, but it makes for great comedy and great content for me. It's already begun. If you go on Twitter, hashtag Ted Cruz campaign slogans is trending and it's hilarious, some of the shit that people are coming up with. So if you have something funny that would be a good Ted Cruz or Republican in general campaign slogan, leave it as a comment in the comment section below. Also let me know your thoughts, like this video, share it everywhere, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, check out my t-shirts at JacquelineGlenn.com, and thank you to everyone out there who's a Patreon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>